Hi everyone, and welcome to this video. With the release of Pokemon Detective Pikachu, I decided that I wanted to work on a drawing, and while working on the sketch, I was considering my options, whether I wanted to work with pencils, or with markers, or with anything else, um, but in the end I decided to work with Copic markers. Uh, but before that, I needed to consider working on the line work, and I really wanted to focus on the line work this time. So for that, I ended up using a mixture of a Copic Multiliner SP0.03 and a 0 0.1. I was mainly using the 0 0.1 to uh, quickly add the lines, and then to clean up and sharpen and add some additional weight to some of the lines, I was using the 0 0.03 just refining everything with that pen. For the colouring, as I mentioned earlier, I wanted to use Copic markers, and I began by working on the eyes, starting with some sepia and beige to add the base colour. Then to add shading on top, I blended between a black and cool grey 5 and 7 markers. Uh, I made sure to leave some highlighted areas, because that really helps to make the eyes stand out. And then, on top of that, to add some additional details to the eyes, I blended between a light peach Prismacolor pencil and a white Jelly Roll pen. For the nose, I used Lipstick Natural and added some additional details again with the white pen. Then, moving on from that, I ended up using Buttercup Yellow and Pale Yellow for the yellow fur. Um, mainly using Buttercup Yellow towards the centre and then blending it outwards towards the pale yellow. I was relying on the buttercup yellow for the darker shaded areas, and the pale yellow for the highlights, so in that way I could use them to define the shapes. After adding that first section of yellow colouring, I then added a bit of shading underneath the nose and the mouth with cool grey 5 and 3, just fading that shading downwards. And then for the orange colouring of Pikachu's cheeks, I used light orange. To add a bit of shading underneath Pikachu's hat, I started with a black marker, and then faded it downwards with a cool grey 7, 5, 3 and 1, in that order, to try and create a nice smooth gradient to the shading. And then on top of that shading, I used a golden yellow marker, so it wasn't too grey. I continued the same yellow colouring along the ears, and then at the tips of the ears, I used Cool Grey 5 and 7. For the hat, I started off with Warm Grey 3 and 5, building up the layers to define its shape, and then on top of that, to add the threading, I started using a white pencil. Um, it took quite a long time, but I really feel like it was worth it to add that texturing, uh, otherwise it seemed really flat. Um, I was really happy with the way the threading looks, but it, it just took a lot of hatching. 
For the rest of Pikachu's body, I continued on using the same yellow markers, those being Buttercup Yellow and Pale Yellow. Uh, then for the longer chest fur, I used Eggshell. Uh, underneath that, for the feet, I used Sepia and Champagne. And then it was time for me to consider the shading. Uh, and for the shading underneath the eggshell colouring, I decided to use the same colour that I used for the nose, uh, that being Lipstick Natural. And then I also faded some shading upwards from around the feet, using Warm Grey 5 and 3. Following on from that, for the tail, I used the same Buttercup Yellow and Pale Yellow, along with Golden Yellow and Warm Grey 5. Once everything else was completed, I then added a bit of shading underneath Pikachu with Cool Grey 3 and 5. And after that, this drawing was completed. And I had so much fun. It's been actually quite a long time since I last worked on any drawings in this style. Um, especially working on the line work in this way. And I found it really enjoyable to add the layers of fur. Be sure to let me know what you think of this drawing, and also let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos. If you want to see more videos like this, then feel free to subscribe to my channel, and any thumbs up or shares on this video are hugely appreciated. If you want to support my progress and keep up to date with the stuff I'm working on, then be sure to check out the links in the description for my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Patreon. And once again, thank you so much for the support, and thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you all soon.